We've been playing a ton of Starfield and now that we've got to grips with this massive game, we wanted to share all of the tips, advice and beginners stuff that we really wish we knew earlier on to hopefully make your playthrough more fun and save you a bunch of time without all the trial and error learning. There'll be no spoilers here, so hopefully we'll just help you out before you set off into the field of stars yourself. So let's dive in. You may already be aware that there's a lot of character creator options, but don't get bogged down into making your character perfect at the very beginning. You can actually pay a small amount of credits to change pretty much everything about your character's appearance, from its face shape to its hair to color everything. And this can be done in various shops around the cities in the galaxy. So don't worry about making mistakes and re-rolling your save because of your character's appearance because you can change this easily later on. It might seem obvious to some, but you can actually equip multiple weapons by favoriting them and assigning them. This way you can quickly switch between weapons without having to open the menu each time. You can also favorite aid items for quick access to buffs and heals as well. Although you can fly around in your spaceship, you can actually fast travel to pretty much anywhere you've previously discovered as long as you're not inside of certain buildings. So if you're in a city area, you can instantly fast travel to another planet, another solar system, one of your outposts, or anywhere that you've already been to through the star map without actually having to go back to your ship and set off. You can also fast travel to your mission target location from the missions menu by selecting the mission and then clicking the set a course button, which will make your life so much easier to get around between those mission objectives. Speaking of space travel, you can fly to any planet and scan it from orbit which will reveal its resources. From here you can click anywhere on the heat map of the resources on the planet to land at that spot and start exploring, mining, building an outpost to produce those resources or just to look around. So make sure to scan those planets the first time you encounter them and then you'll start to map out where all the resources in the galaxy are. This is a Bethesda game so inventory management is going to be a problem. But there are many ways to improve it from skills to tricks, so let's go over a couple. You can take a companion with you to explore, and they have their own inventory that you can offload stuff into. But take note, it won't count these items as available to you when crafting or selling. So before doing any crafting or selling, make sure to talk with them and take those items back. And speaking of your inventory management, your ship has a cargo hold which allows it to store a bunch of stuff for you. You can access the cargo hold while inside of the ship from your inventory and pressing Q to switch to it, or by manually interacting with the console within the ship's cockpit. Or you can get into the cargo hold from anywhere by going to the ship's menu and then pressing the cargo button. The thing is, while you're crafting or building, resources within your ship's cargo will be pulled from as well as your inventory. So keep all of those heavy materials and resources in your ship's cargo hold to save you from getting over encumbered, you simply don't need to carry them. A great tip early on is to slap on some more cargo hold modules in the ship builder if you can afford them. This will allow your ship to carry more stuff in its cargo and you can assign a crew member with the payload skill which will also increase its maximum amount that it can carry. A good thing to know is that your companions are not only useful for carrying stuff but they also act as combat allies. However, you will want to know that you need to assign gear and items to them to equip, not just put them in their inventory. Move over the items you want them to equip, such as a weapon, and while you're in their inventory, press the equipped button. It looks like it will equip it on your character, but it actually assigns it for them to use. So if you get a powerful weapon that you don't want to use, give it to your companion and equip it on them. The game has a pretty in-depth skill tree system, whereby leveling up grants you a skill point that you can assign into a skill to gain its benefits. But each skill actually has four ranks that require an additional skill point to level up and learn, and you will have to do a skill challenge before you can even rank it up. Think of it like each perk having four individual levels, whereby the skill's benefit gets stronger with each level of the perk you commit to it. But you also have to complete a challenge in order to actually be able to level it up, such as killing enemies with ballistic weapons to rank up your ballistic damage perk. However, the game has so many skills split between five different skill trees, from physical to social, combat, science, and tech. From my experience from playing a lot, many of the perks in each of the skill tree are actually quite desirable, so picking where to invest your skill points in is actually pretty tough. Also remember when you make a character and you pick a background, you get three skills based on the background you pick for free. You also get some unique dialogue options based on your background, but I would recommend picking a background with the skills that you think you will benefit from for the rest of the game. For example, I picked the Space Scoundrel background. 
but I pretty much never use pistols as I got further in the game, so that perk is kind of a waste. However, having played a bunch of the game now, I have some recommendations on what will hopefully help you out, so let's go through the skill trees and the ones that I recommend or that stand out. In the physical tree, the weightlifting skill is incredible. It's a Bethesda game as we said before, and if you played Skyrim or Elder Scrolls, you've definitely been over encumbered. And early on, you're going to want to pick everything that you can up to sell it or to equip, so you're going to need that inventory space. This weightlifting perk is a massive bonus as it increases your carry weight by up to 100, which is quite a lot and I highly, highly recommend investing in this. The stealth perk also is good because it gives you a visual stealth marker to let you know when you're being detected, as well as making it harder for enemies to detect you. So if you plan to to sneak around and steal stuff, this one is a must pick. But next in the social tree, you might want to think about picking up the thief skill as this unlocks the ability for you to actually pickpocket a target. I haven't unlocked this myself, but it can be very powerful if that's your playstyle and you want to steal things from people. There's also the persuade skill, which gives you access to a dialogue option minigame to make an NPC do what you want. This could mean avoiding combat, skipping tasks, or could just give you a new dynamic to some quests. It's more of a playstyle choice, but for many persuasion checks, you will more or less need the increased chance from this perk if you want to succeed at them. The scavenging perk sounds really good, but I would actually recommend taking commerce first. Buying for less and selling for more is very powerful and will lead to you building up a ton of credits to buy ships, upgrades, and more expensive items later on. You will be selling a lot of stuff from the enemies that you defeat, so this is very useful. The combat tree is obviously going to be great for juicing up certain types of weapon damage, so if you want to deal more damage with your preferred weapon type, then this is the way to go. However, the science tree also leads into weapon engineering, which is how you can unlock access to researching powerful weapon mods that enhance your guns as well. In addition to this, the science tree also has the surveying skill, which increases the zoom, but more importantly, the scan range of your hand scanner. If you plan to survey different planets, this makes a massive difference as you don't have to literally run right next to the thing that you're scanning. Planet surveys can be sold for credits and unlock information about the planet, so it's kind of a playstyle choice. Similarly to this, the geology perk is great if you want to go mining a lot on these planets. It straight up gives you more resources with the perk, but later on you can build outposts that automatically mine resources, so it's kind of up to you. Finally, the tech tree is all about your tech skills, mostly related to your ship and your boost pack. Most things in here are very desirable when it comes to ship combat, however the boost pack training is definitely a must pick even if it's just for one point. This lets you use the jetpacks which are kind of like a double jump feature in the game or something like Boba Fett or Mando from Star Wars. There are different kinds of boost packs that you will find throughout the game, but you'll need at least one point in this to use them and it makes traversal so much more fun and engaging especially on low gravity planets. Also, the security perk allows you to lockpick higher difficulty locks, which often leads to some very juicy loot or loot runes. So this is definitely worth investing in if you feel FOMO when you leave those rooms untouched. But if you have any other tips, tell us down below in the comments so we can all learn together as a community. These are just the things that I wish I knew sooner. And if you haven't seen the two videos on the screen now, you should definitely check them out. We have so much stuff coming your way and a lot more Starfield content. So check the two videos out on the screen now and then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.